Officers in our area have Lieutenant Brian Murphy in their thoughts tonight. Fox 11's Alex Ranallo went to a local criminal justice training session just this afternoon, and she tells us how future law enforcement officers prepare for situations like yesterday's shooting. So it's going to be two rounds. Troy Janda is both a criminal justice instructor at Fox Valley Technical College and deputy sheriff for Outagamie County. He says Lieutenant Brian Murphy is on his mind. Your, your heart goes out to those families and their co-workers. Janda says he, his co-workers, and these law enforcement trainees know situations like Sundays are part of the job. It's not frequent, but everybody who does this job knows that you know it is a possibility. It's always in the back of your mind, but you have to channel that fear and to utilize it with your training and skills. Fire! The training is exactly what Janda says is the best weapon against those dangerous incidents. If they're well trained and prepared, that's when the training kicks in and it's automatic and they don't have time to think about things like fear. Janda says criminal justice training and technology are constantly adapting to keep officers safer, especially after incidents where officers get hurt. He says teachers put students in scenarios that simulate danger. Come on! Like this one, where students are put in the dark with flashing lights and forced to do physical activity before shooting a target and imagine criminal. To add a certain level of stress and realism. Oh! Student Spencer Russ says it's classes like this that help him feel ready. We're prepared to go into those situations because we played them in our head over and over again. He also says he looks up to and learns from officers who've gone through the unthinkable, like Sunday's shooting. They're in the upper echelon of law enforcement. They do, you know, they're someone to emulate. In Grand Shoot, Alex Ranallo, Fox 11 News. Janda says officers are also trained to know when deadly force is appropriate. He says if death or great bodily harm to an officer or civilian is imminent, officers can use deadly force on a suspect.